welcome back to my channel guys today is pretty chill day it's not looking like i have enough time for breakfast but that's fine because i'll just eat yogurt or something i think i'm gonna ask to leave a little bit early today from work just because i have a presentation in class also if you're scared by the way that i'm applying makeup trust me i'm scared too because i have no like professional experience but makeup's just clearly never gonna be my forte but anyways yeah so i have a presentation i'm gonna ask to leave early i think i'm gonna ask to leave around like 12 ish just so that i have time to um prepare for my presentation or if i don't leave early maybe i'll ask to work on the school stuff there but it should be fine my supervisor's super nice and he's very understanding, which is the best part about it because he was a law student once too. I honestly haven't been excited about starting law school again in a long time since I started summer just because it's a lot. Yeah, feeling like you're drowning 24-7, like having to read all the time. It's obviously fun, but it's stressful and then outlining season comes so fast. I don't know. I honestly haven't been super excited to go back. And it's not to say like, I don't want to go back. It's just that I've been like enjoying summertime. The other day I had a moment for the first time where I was genuinely excited to go back to law school. Not go back, but start my second year. I was just thinking about all the stuff that I want to do. Like there's like this organization that I'm working with this upcoming school year. I'm really excited to be a part of all the hands-on things. It's kind of like a clinic, but not really because a clinic is directly tied to the school whereas like this organization does clinic type work f with the students but it's more so like organization type style like a club yeah i'm really looking forward to that i'm also really looking forward to like the student orgs like moot core and mock trial I already had its tryouts but things like that that are having their tryouts that i'm really excited for and then we also have something called the dean's cup which is it's where the law school goes in competition with the med school and there's a bunch of student battles like soccer, tennis. There's honestly so many sports, I just can't think of it on top of my head. I know there's volleyball too. I was thinking about doing it last year, but I honestly didn't know if you needed experience in the sport in order to play because I didn't want to like make the team lose. But I kind of figured out by the end of it that like they really just want students to participate so that the law school doesn't have to default in certain sports so i think i want to do that this year yeah i was just thinking about that and i got a little bit excited and i feel like i'm finally going to be able to take classes that i'm genuinely interested in so that's also very exciting i also know what professors i like versus i don't like and i'm able to like take new courses with professors i loved and then like completely avoid the ones that i didn't like and then i'm also thinking about doing an externship or maybe like a part-time job i don't know i'm not gonna pack up my plate too much just because you know you obviously want time to like breathe but law school is like the time to pack up your plate from what other people say is like try to do as much as you can because at the end of the day it's like gonna be on your resume forever it's a talking point forever so yeah anyways guys i'm honestly talented for doing this without a mirror no it's not that bad anyways yesterday i was only at work for a little bit just because i had to leave since i had the afternoon class so i spent most of my day watching this death penalty trial oh my gosh guys i love watching trials so much and doing them also is super exciting I've never done a real life trial, obviously. I'm not a lawyer. I feel like mock trial really gave me a taste of what real trial is like because there are so many similarities even in undergrad mock trial to like real life trial. I was watching a death penalty trial and first of all, I don't personally believe in the death penalty. I don't mind what other people's opinions are. Like everybody has their own opinion, but I just personally don't think that that's correct. I was still watching it because it's a media case and... I had to leave early anyways. Today, I think in the little time that I'm gonna be there, I'm probably gonna be doing some like researching or writing and like working my memos and then head out. I don't even have lunch. So fingers crossed that it's okay for me to leave early. I think it will be. Now I have to get dressed and actually look presentable so that I'm not rushing out the door. Currently 8.10, so we have like 30 minutes, which is not bad at all. I'm currently ready for work. The last thing that I have to do is just make some coffee and I don't have any pre-made um, 
What is it called? I don't have any pre-made. Wow, it's really hard to like vlog, but also do what I need to do. I don't have any pre-made coffee today. I didn't buy more cold brew when I needed to, but that's fine because I have actual coffee. Well, it's not actual coffee. It's like drip coffee. I take some of this, Café Ustelo, and I basically drip hot coffee hot water over the coffee grinds and it makes drip coffee that'll have to do for today it's not bad it's just that i really wanted a different flavor some people in the office use cuban coffee it's the way that i'm a little bit out of breath but in other news it's also my cat's birthday today so that's an additional reason why i want to come home early and then i also want to buy him like a cake or something edible for him obviously a human cake is not edible but i mean something that looks like a cake that could be edible for him so that he can blow out a candle aka me just blowing it out for him but do that because we did that for his first year birthday and it was so cute i love looking back at the pictures i think that it's a cute tradition to do i'm currently boiling water nothing exciting at all i'm really hoping that i can leave early because i'm not packing lunch because i basically don't have anything to pack lunch with okay it's talking over here right now this is my boiling thing by the way it's so cute we're running pretty on time considering I'm not gonna eat breakfast and this is the only thing I have to do. So I think I can do this in 12 minutes. Okay, successfully got this. I don't know. I'm gonna put that in a to-go cup and then I'm gonna get a water bottle and then head out. It's currently 8.32ish is what I saw. Sorry, I was just looking at the mess of a ceiling that's in our kitchen right now. This is a house that I'm renting, by the way, so no judgment, please. This is not my house. I'm not the one to make repairs on the roof and repairs everywhere. But I'm going to show you guys because this is horrendous. Like, there's actually no way this is livable and habitable. And that meant the same thing, but this, there's no way that this is allowed. All right, guys, I'll see you guys whenever I get back because it's time for me to leave and I'm not going to bring my camera all the way to work. Just for me to not be able to record anything but i'll see you guys in the next clip hopefully hopefully we were able to leave early to prepare and to celebrate mochi's birthday and also to prepare like i said the presentation i'm back it's like 2 30 p.m i was able to leave work early thank god and now i'm just relaxing honestly because i'm very burnt out emotionally mentally just completely exhausted so i don't want to like start working on the presentation immediately just because i want to take a little bit of a break but work was fun i had lunch with some co-workers we ate at this hispanic place i got a burrito other people got burritos and then some people got tacos so it was really really yummy though i want to go back it's called the taco stand if anybody knows that place in miami you know apparently they have like a sushi spot behind the actual restaurant so i thought that was really cool my day was pretty okay i basically worked on my memo all morning and i'm actually really happy because i've gotten a lot of progress done on that memo all this morning and i know exactly how i'm gonna write the memo now i just need to do the actual research which i have done a lot of research but i need like specific case law if you've done memos you know so i don't know should i go buy some coffee stuff or should i just do work Part of me just kind of wants to procrastinate. We'll see what I end up doing. So I'm currently doing research and preparing my presentation slides for tomorrow. It's going pretty well. I really like the topic that I chose, so it's pretty easy to do research on it just because I like it so much. I am a little bit nervous because I have to prepare for random questions that people have for me at the end of my presentation. It's very low stakes though. I just wanna make sure that I'm not caught off guard. I also just came back from Publix. I got coffee, a cake for my cat, candle for my cat like a little treat for my cat and some other things that was a nice little break but now i'm ready to focus on this research because the columbia game is at 8 p.m tonight and it's currently five on the dot so i have three hours to make this happen and i think between that time frame i'll probably sing my cat happy birthday and give him his little dessert i the cake i bought is also super tiny just because the cat obviously cannot eat the cake and i tried looking for like an edible pastry for cats but i couldn't find anything and i don't think PetSmart even has anything edible for cats i think that that's something you have to like 
order online in advance so maybe next year i'll look into that because i am really interested in getting him an actual cake he can consume but for now the wet treats will have to do he gets wet food every single morning but i got him a different flavor of wet food so it would be more of a treat since he's never tried it but hopefully he likes it if he doesn't i'll just give him a regular wet food i know he likes so we are officially at 6 20 p.m basically it's 6 17. i'm currently reading i think what i'm having a hard time with is retaining the information in these 80 million tabs but it's okay we'll be okay i'm honestly feeling great because every time i practice my presentation i go like way over the time limit which is bad but honestly i'd rather have too much to say and have to cut out some stuff compared to not knowing what to say and having to like slow down every single word so yeah i'm feeling pretty good i just need to get down some fundamental things because when people ask questions i think i can kind of predict what they're going to ask just because we've already seen some presentations go up and a lot of the questions were very similar so No, that's for me. <laughs> that's for me, honey bunches. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Wow, Mochi. Eso son tres leches. My favorite. Okay, gracias a todos. Chao. Bye. So we just sang happy birthday to Mochi and this is him eating his little medley and I'm watching the Columbia Games. Yeah, both have been fantastic, but you just see the, the passion and uh, this was by far, I think, the most entertaining game of Copa America so far. Columbia could have easily went up 3-0, uh, but just truly amazing.